chemical has a powerful kick. You think the motor will stand it? It's the strongest motor ever built, and the fastest. Uh, thanks to your scientific knowledge. I am satisfactory as a valet, too. Perfectly. It was a lucky day for me when I rescued you from that native in Singapore. He tried to kill me because I am a Korean. You shall never be sorry you saved my life. You've repaid me many times by your faithful service, Kato. Thank you, Mr. Britt. Well, have you tried the new horn? Listen. It sounds like the giant green hornet we encountered in Africa. Everything about this car is most unusual. Yeah, you're right. It was all built here in secret. When I spring it on the world... Everybody will be most surprised. Yeah, and it'll prove to that skeptical old dad of mine that I'm not just a playboy. Uh-oh. We've got to leave. Axford will be looking all around for us. Breakfast is ready. Breakfast, is it? Suffer and snakes. Here it is after 10 o'clock, and Britt Reed, boss of a metropolitan newspaper, is not out of bed yet. Morning, Michael. Breakfast ready? Why didn't you call me? Call you? Sure, I've been knocking at your door for hours. Michael, my father originally hired you as a reporter. Yes, sir. Somehow you became my bodyguard? Yes, sir. And under the circumstances, do you think it's right to try to wreck my father's building by breaking down the doors? Ha, ha, go on with you. That's no way to treat an old cop like me. Morning, Miss Case. Good morning, Mr. Reed. If it is still morning. Well, it's never afternoon until you've had lunch. Oh, wasting carbon. Most inefficient. You seem to forget that this paper is being run despite the lack of a top executive. You think you were my father's secretary for five long years. Which reminds me, you have an appointment with two of your father's old friends at 11.30. Judge Stanton and the police commissioner. I wonder what they want to see me about. To compliment you, no doubt, on those scathing editorials attacking the racketeers of our great city, which you haven't written. Well, which if I had written would have been a very ineffective gesture. Jenks is in there waiting for you. Morning, Jinx. Oh, I got the drop on a great scoop, boss. What is it? The Billings Dam project. Old stuff. No, it isn't. I got it straight. The whole project is being constructed with cheap undergrade material and condemned machinery. Where'd you get your information? From one of the foremen. Disgruntled employee, huh? Oh, no, boss. This is straight stuff. Well, let me take Clicker Binny and go out yeah, there and I'll... Get your feet wet. Forget it, Jinx. Okay. But we're missing a bed, I tell you. The men are here for that appointment, Mr. Reed. Show the law in, Casey. All right, gentlemen. It's a great honor. No, Britt. It's a cold-blooded business. Yes, Reed, since you've taken over the Sentinel, we missed the editorials your father used to write. Yes, editorials that struck hard at rackets and crime. That slammed at the crooks in politics and kept the police on the run. Gentlemen, it was my father's privilege to run this paper as he saw fit. I think the same applies to me. It is my idea that a paper should reflect public opinion, not mold it. I also believe that law enforcement should be left to the properly constituted authorities. People must be made aware of conditions. Well, if things are so bad, why don't you do something about them? We're doing all we can. Law enforcement is difficult if public opinion isn't behind it. The Sentinel will back you, but it won't take the lead. That's for you to do. What are you waiting for? A modern Robin Hood to lead you out of the woods? Yes, Reed. That's just what this city needs, a Robin Hood. Miss Case, check the want ads and see if there's a modern Robin Hood looking for a job. I can see we're wasting our time. It's evident we can't arouse your fighting spirit as we could your father's. My father wore himself out fighting, and conditions are even worse today. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Good day. Aren't you ever serious? Why, Miss Case, I was never more so. This interview threatens to change the course of my entire career. <laughs> Modern Robin Hood.
tried to give you the inside story on that the other day. Gunnigan, get some interviews with survivors. Check the permits and specifications of the building department. Yes, sir. Call on the families of the dead and injured and offer every possible aid. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got an angle on that tunnel they're building under the river. Yeah, what is it? Well, a fellow named Gorman who works there claims it's being built with bad material and faulty equipment. Same as the building's dam was. Why should contractors deliberately build things that will collapse? Well, if I knew that, I'd have a swell story. Well, you have nothing definite to go on? No, but uh, I'm hoping to get something from Gorman tonight. I doubt if you will. I wonder if there is anything to that tunnel job. Gorman, for talking to a Sentinel reporter against orders. You bet your life I talked to a reporter. And I'm meeting him tonight to give him the rest of the story. I'll tell him this tunnel project is as big a death trap as that Billings Dam job of yours. That won't do either you or the job any good, Gorman. You look out for the job, Markham. I'll take care of myself. to take the low road. This one's closed for a blast. All right. Too bad. Bowman drove right into that blast. Yeah. Looks like it couldn't be helped. Extra! Gorman wants to tell a false and tunnel job. There's only one way to handle Reed in his paper, and the law doesn't enter into it. That it'd make a martyr out of him. Arouse a force against us to direct this business that we worked so hard to build up. Of course, the final decision rests with our chief, as usual. You promised to communicate with us at 11. Just that now. We're ready for your decision on the Britt Reed matter, sir. Handle it as we did the other two papers that tried to expose us. By the Sentinel. Reed's threatened investigation must be stopped. Right. The Sentinel is a powerful paper. Reed is a wealthy man. The price would be prohibitive. Nothing's prohibitive when it stands in our way. How long are we to take orders from this unknown leader? Until he decides otherwise. Well, I don't like it. That's enough, Grant. You'll be late for your appointment with Britt Reed. Appointment? Then you knew what the chief's decision would be. I strongly suspected it. You detailed two men to trail him? Two of the best, with special orders to be sure that he wasn't followed from Reed's. Well, the offer is very flattering. But just who are the men that comprise this syndicate you represent? Well, we're not quite ready to announce our personnel as yet. Well, then we can't go ahead with any deal. But I can report to my clients that there is a chance to buy? Yes, when I find out who they are. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Grant. Look. Mike Axford, Reed Stooge, following Mr. Grant. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you go where you're looking? Come on, come on, break up the huddle. What do you think you're at, a football game? All right, get it out of there. Come on, move it, move it. Yes, sir. Now what happened to the fellow I was following? And what do you think this is, a parking station? Get in and get out. All right, lad.
And when I looked around, Grant's car was gone entirely. Well, did you get the license number? I knew there was something I wanted to do. No, well, never mind. That confirms my suspicions about Grant, and Jenks has got a line on him. Reed tried to question me, but I was too clever for him. You're not as clever as you think, Grant. Why, what do you mean? You were trailed from Reed's. If it hadn't been for my foresight, you'd have been followed to this office. That proves Reed's suspicions have been aroused. The chief phoned orders for you to get out of town and lay low. I'll go about it at once. Don't leave any dangerous papers in your office. Right. Grant may break. Cover him every minute until he's left town. Like a blanket. Is this the way you want the mask, Mr. Britt? It's a marvelous job, Cato. Here's the gas gun I made. Well, are you sure the bullets won't kill? They just put people to sleep for a short time. Oh, you're a wizard. And don't forget, when I give you this signal, <laughs> cut the electric light wires. All right, let's go to the garage. Funny, isn't it, Cato? What, Mr. Britt? When we built this secret garage to construct our super speedster, we never thought it would become the lair for a modern Robin Hood. Are you sure our photoelectric cells will close the doors after we've driven through? Yes, they did when I tested the car. How fast will she go? Better than 200. <whistles> All right, Cato, we're going to introduce Mr. Grant and the world to the Green Hornets. How did you get in here? Who are you? The Green Hornet. Green Hornet? Yes, Grant. Not very well known as yet, but I have hopes for him. What do you want? The papers you were ordered to destroy. I've just burned them. All of them? What about these? Oh, I see you burned the important ones. What right have you to see them? They contained important evidence that I mean to have. Well? You're going to tell me who ordered you to burn them. I'll tell you nothing. You'll tell me everything now. Why should I deal with a masked bandit? Hello? Hello, Grant. Speaking. This is Lou Markheim at the tunnel job. Yes, Markheim, what do you want? How am I going to handle these reporters that are after the Gorman story? Why ask me? Who else will I ask? You're still attorney for this outfit, aren't you? Why not ask the chief? I stand as much chance of getting to him as you do. All right, Grant. You do the talking now. Who are you working for? No. Put that gun away. Tell me. I'm an attorney for a syndicate. I take orders from the... Dead. Sure, the Hornet killed Grant. But why, and who is he? Well, I'm betting he didn't kill Grant. I think the Hornet is the modern Robin Hood that this city needs. Well, I hope so. If you want to talk to that fellow Markheim at the tunnel job, we better get going. All right, Michael. Those pumps going to number two. Okay, Markheim. Hello, Markheim. Can we go inside? You see the sign? No visitors. We're not visitors. We're the press. Even the press is barred from this job. Why? Is there something going on in there you don't want the public to know about? We've been on dangerous jobs before. Not as dangerous as this one. You admit it's not safe. I admit nothing. Get out or I'll have you thrown out. You think you will. I'm sorry you won't cooperate, Markheim.
Judging from Mark Iams' manner, I'd say there was something wrong here. So what will we be doing about it? That, my pugnacious Michael, remains to be seen. Well... That's the car we're looking for. The car of the Green Hornet. Police car following us, Cato. Turn on the energizer. It's gone, like a spook. I never saw a car move so fast. scared them off. Listen, have the new men been signed in the usual way? Good. I'll keep the night shift to number four. Bye-bye. Who are you? The Green Hornet? Yes, Mark Hyam. It was you who killed Grant. You know better than that. What do you want with me? I want you to take me through the compression lock and into tunnel number four. I can't. My job's here. You're taking me into tunnel number four. pressure in the tunnel. 30 pounds. Now we can go in there and see what's wrong. See? There's nothing wrong in here. That air compressor is skipping. What's the matter with it? Nothing. Yes, there is. You know what would happen if it quit entirely, don't you? Come on, speak up. The air pressure would go down. These walls would cave in. You know that compressor's faulty, Markheim. You're doing the same thing you did at the Billings Dam, sacrificing human lives by using cheap equipment. I had nothing to do with the Billings job. Oh, yes, you did. I know all about it. You're not bluffing me, Hornet. You're as big a racketeer as any of them. And you admit your one? I admit nothing. The compressor stopped. we got to get out of here before there's a cave-in. Not until you get those workmen out. There's an alarm, pal, at the airlock. Jeff Markheim. Don't make any sign to those men. It'll cave in. We'll be killed. We're staying until you tell me what I want to know. What is it? Who are your partners in this construction racket? There's 12 of us. The others are... Yeah, come on. Who are they? I'll tell you outside. Take me out quick. The tunnel. We're staying here. Thank you. 